Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a fall front porch decorate with me. A little bit of a tidy up and some decorating in the basement. Just a few things off of the to-do list in this quick decorate and clean with me today. So I will have everything that I can linked down below for you guys. I just got a couple of new pieces this year for the front porch. I did make these signs. I will have a DIY linked down below for you guys. And I make all of my wreaths for each season. I will have my spring one linked down below for you guys so you can see how I make my wreaths. But I just picked up a few mums from Costco and from my local grocery store. My local grocery store had some really cute fall pieces. So I grabbed a couple of pumpkins and then I also grabbed like a kale um, that's like a flowering kale. I thought it was so cute and the colors went so well. Um, this is just part one to the front porch decorate with me. We typically go to a pumpkin patch around the end of September to get some more pumpkins. So I plan on getting some of those cool like gourds and pumpkins from my local pumpkin patch. So stay tuned for a part two, but here I'm doing some crazy stuff. I took the broom and I'm just like sweeping off the door. We do a lot of wood projects for M&M Rustics. If you guys are new here, my husband and I own a furniture making business and custom built in business and we do a lot of woodworking. So a lot of dust gets like in and around the garage door and the front porch just because that's where my husband does a lot of the woodworking. So naturally the sawdust like just collects all around the garage door and on the front porch. But anyways, here I am rearranging the um, pots that I have up front, like these cute little square pots. And then I'm putting my signs out. The best part about these signs is that they're reversible. So in September, I have them say harvest and gather. And in October for Halloween, I switch them around and they say hocus pocus. And then when it comes to November 1st, I will switch them around again and say harvest and gather for a little bit at least until I get the itch to start decorating for Christmas. But anyways, these signs are just so versatile. I absolutely love them. So these rugs, I got this rug at Target about six months ago, but I will have it linked down below for you guys. And then the mat underneath it, I just got at Target a couple of days ago. So I will make sure that I have that linked for you guys as well. And then my wreath, like I said, I make a wreath for every season. I am loving how this came out. It looks so cozy. We just redid the landscaping in the front. We pulled the dark brown mulch that used to be here and we put down more of a cedar color to match the new cedar colored post. And I'm just loving how much it pops against our siding and the rock. But I can't wait to get some more gourds to fill out this area and do some like stacking and some other cute things that I have in store. I will have a part two to my fall front porch decorate with me coming in October when it is more like Halloween season because I want to show you guys what I do to turn this from like fall into Halloween. It's so easy. Like I said, everything about this is so versatile. It's so simple. And the only thing that I don't love about it is that our grill is out front. Our smoker grill is out on the front porch because we do not have a deck yet. So it's kind of an eyesore, but that's okay. I am loving everything about the rest of the porch, this flowering kale and these pumpkins. I can't wait to add more, but what do you guys love to do on your front porch? Do you do mums, pumpkins? Do you do signs? Let me know in the comments down below. We cross over borders to get where we are And it's all for you, it's all for you, it's all for you, it's all for you I did it all for you, it's all for you, it's all for you so our basement is still in construction mode from the water damage we had earlier this spring, but I added just a couple of touches to the basement bathroom and to the guest bedroom. I always have something set up in the guest room for when people come and stay with us. I switched out the curtains to these like white sheer curtains. I used to have these in the dining room. Added some like farmhousey touches. We plan to also redo this room very soon. I'm super excited to share some DIYs with you guys over on our M&M channel. This winter we have so much in store for the basement and the rest of the house and I just can't wait to share all of it with you. But here I added a couple of pieces, just some cotton stems and I got these amber glass bottles 
from the Target Bullseye section along with these felt pumpkins and I just grabbed a threshold candle because it was $10, it was such a good deal, pumpkin spice, how do you go wrong? And then I added a little wreath underneath the candle, but just something to cozy up the room. And a fun fact is that this little frame over in the corner, I actually got that from my father-in-law. It's an original sketch by him. He's such an amazing artist. I absolutely love that little like homey touch it gives. But anyways, I had quite the laundry pile to tackle in today's video as well. Just wanted to include that to give you guys a little bit of motivation if you have a mountain of laundry yourselves because you know it is so overwhelming. I hate laundry. I hate dishes. Those are my two things that I absolutely despise but they have to get done. So here I am giving you guys the motivation you need to get it done off of your to-do list as well. Alright you guys, that is going to wrap it up for today's quick clean and decorate with me. I hope you enjoyed the fall front porch decorating and the little fall touches in the basement and in the guest room. I'm so excited to be doing the kids' room. I'm going to be focusing on that tomorrow. I'll have that uploaded for you guys on Sunday as it is Friday night right now. I've been so preoccupied with getting everything in order and gathering supplies this week for these videos. So like I said, tomorrow will be the kids room, fall decorate and clean with me. The kids' room is in desperate need of a deep clean. So come along with me tomorrow, get that motivation to get your kids' bedrooms taken care of. And I will see you guys, like I said, tomorrow. Okay, bye you guys. That I love you.